in the following video you'll see I've edited some parts out that's because I've uh, being myself haven't read the instructions properly about the harnesses uh, for the cockpit seats so when you see uh, a bit of a skip you'll know that I've edited it out on purpose because I've basically what I've done, what I've done is I've looked, looked at the instructions here and I've just looked at the pilot seat with the rear harness straps that go over the back of the seat and just looked at that and straight away I, my brain said oh why isn't the other seat got harnesses but they do they've just got the lap harness which still seems odd to me but hey ho that's what it is so I have to modify a few things and come back I've opened up the Eddard look set so we got the instrument panel there's obviously there's no way you can beat the detail on that the foot pedals are more finesse on the resin printed although there's not that much difference in it personally I don't think uh, this control the levers that's the kit one that's the the resin one so you got more levers a bit more detail on the front Uh, oh, I've started painting up the interior. I've painted all of the inside of the fuselage. No, you're not going to see much of it, but I'll just do it anyway. Oh, I've started painting up our cockpit. So I put in the. I've started painting up the. Well, I've put this together. And I've painted in the levers. The uh, instructions are only cool for the, the red ones and a bit of silver on the front there. Those ones, that's all the instructions call for. But I've painted white on the other levers just to add interest. And to do that, I used these uh, Posca pens. I think they're like. 0.7 yeah 0.7 millimeter ones so they're good for cockpit work especially in jets with all the buttons and switches so what I need now is well I'm waiting for the I painted the cushions and let that dry I give it a clear gloss coating in I also paint in some switches on there but you're not going to see that because the pilot seat will be in there but <clears throat> hey ho i'll give another gloss coat uh, i'm going to i'll dry brush the uh foot pedals with a bit of i'll use no not that one where is it Thank you. This one natural. Come on, focus. Natural steel. That's just the colour I prefer. Obviously everyone uses whatever they like, but this just works for me. So I'll dry brush the steps, a bit of the floor in front of the seats. And uh, yeah, those foot pedals and a bit on that uh, box unit on the front. And then I'll uh, probably give it a wash and then I'll start putting the fuselage together. Let's put the windows in. Uh, I was lazy and I just painted the fuselage and put the windows in. Normally I would 
paint the frame, but you're not going to see it, so I didn't bother. And I, I got the mask set I bought for the uh, for it, but that'll only mask the outside ones. Uh, also, while I'm here, <coughs> I've put the nose together. Uh, I'm doing the Royal Australian Air Force version. Instructions in this kit uh, have you put in there a chin gun system. So it's like four guns coming out of a chin. It's not a turret, it's just they're facing forward. But the Royal Australian Air Force version has glass window in the bottom. So that's what I've put in there. So you do get the glass window or the gun. So that's option in the kit. And while I think about it, so as I've shown, I'm doing the scheme. And I've actually found uh, there's a website that has Australian uh, military aircraft numbers there are uh, uh, code numbers so I've looked up this one the A5985 and I found some they're black and white of course because it's World War II photos but unfortunately every, every shot of it is this side now it's got grey underneath the blue scheme and I have no idea the story behind it whether they just rushed to paint it or it's patch up or what and it's on the stabiliser as well and the rudder so was it on both sides or just this side I don't know this, these decals only show one side which is extremely frustrating which happens a lot with uh, aftermarket uh, decals and schemes, they don't show you the full aircraft, which is very frustrating. So I, at this stage, I'm, I don't know, I'm gonna, just going to guess it, or maybe just don't do an identical pattern, but just a bit of grey on the other side as well. It, um, But yeah, the images, like I said, are all from this side, so it's... Um, I like to work it out. What I want to do. Okay, so I've done some dry brushing on the foot pedals and around that control unit on the front. Uh, I've fixed up my mess up with the harnesses on the seat that side. As I mentioned earlier, you'll see the edited video I had to cut out. Uh, some of the video and fix up so read the instructions properly bro uh, a bit of dry brushing on the steps like I said and touch in front of the seat you're not going to time this goes in that's going to sit there I'm going to put the control the yoke yokes in yet <clears throat> And I've still got to give it a uh, wash. And while I'm waiting for the wash to dry on the cockpit, I've moved back to the uh, wing and the nacelle, the engine nacelle. So you've got two little bulkheads that go on the end of your... Uh, landing gear bay it's the same part number for both wings it's just uh there's a it's a it's slotted so it just sits where it on there but it's angled so it'll even though the same numbers it'll angle towards which way which uh side of the aircraft <coughs> uh instructions say put the landing gear in now before you put the nacelle on but as we all know that's never a good thing having landing gear hanging out when you 
still working on a model you usually end up breaking off so what I've done is I've made it up to uh, check that I can put it in after the fact and you can you can just angle it in and it'll sit in there that's how it'll sit <coughs> so that's good it doesn't have to go in now I uh, just need to, even though that bulkhead sitting flush where it's supposed to, you can see it's a bit out, pronounced out from the nacelle. Well, I got to sand it up anyway, yet, but so when I glue it, I'll have to get it back in there to make it flush. And then I can paint that up. Otherwise, it's uh, a flush fit, which is good. Okay, cockpit's glued in. For the wash, I just used uh, Tamiya panel line, the dark brown. Uh, also, the, the wing spar goes in. It's only short, but it'll assist. There's slots that it goes into on the wing, and there's grooves on the fuselage that it's supposed to fit into anyway. So I'm ready to put the fuselage together and hopefully it'll, it'll fit good. Looks good. Uh, if anyone was interested in what interior green I used, I used MRPs, World War II USA interior green, even though it's a uh, RAF aircraft it, it would have come we would have just painted our own camouflage scheme on it I would assume that the aircraft came with the American uh, paint job on it and whatnot 